Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. the Toronto Raptors taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. Thanks for joining us everyone. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan joined by the talented analyst tandem of Greg Anthony and Chris Webber. David Aldridge is on our sideline. this evening all the makings of a up-tempo affair a lot of speed on the floor they love to play both these teams at a very high pace they're trying to get good looks early in the clock and I'll tell you why against a better defensive team why slow the ball up and wait for them to get set against better defensive teams you must speed up the pace to get an open shot in the NBA an open shot from a player that that's in his skill set is a great shot. It doesn't matter if it's with one second left on the shot clock or with 20 seconds on the shot clock. So why not speed the pace up? See if you can get that early look. If not, bring it back out and then set up the play. But run, get it going, and see if you can get some easy looks early. Here are the five for the Raptors. Kyle Lowry and Danny Green are the guards in. Inside pairing is Ibaka and Valanciunas. And it's Leonard in at the small forward. Here's Lowry following the basket by LeBron James. Fades away. And that one's good. Leonard. Leonard's got his first points of the game. Yeah, and for mid range, Leonard's jump shot is money. It doesn't matter if it's off the dribble or catch and shoot. He, he never loses his touch. And it's blocked by Ibaka. Lowry with the ball. Shot clock at six. Puts one up from 19. Gets the front of the rim and out. You got to give the D credit there. Affected him. He didn't have much room to get the shot up. Nice way to start the evening. His numbers getting calls and for good reason. Well, yeah, he's a guy who can carry you for stretches, long stretches in this game. You want to get him involved early and off. Here is Lowry following the basket by LeBron James. And the slithery agility of Ibaka. Not many guys can go up with him to stop the catch and dunk. And that unleashed chaos replay presented by Under Armour. Hover Havoc giving us a chance to relive that exciting play. And the slam dunk by McGee. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley-oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. The Raptors have gone three of five shooting the ball so far. 
Leonard against LeBron. Ibaka right side. Pass to Green. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope with the foul. That's his first foul. And they call an illegal screen here. And had the right idea there in calling for the screen, but he was just slow to get to the spot and didn't get set. But yeah, as a big fellow, that's the thing, Greg. You've got to be quick in setting those screens. If you get a little lazy, you get called for it. Now here's Ingram. Pass to LeBron. Oh! oh. And yeah. Wow. Jumped out of the chip. And James simply one of the best dunkers in NBA history, I have to say. Highly creative in how he throws it down. Ingram against Ibaka. Back to Lowry. There's the three. Rondo with the rebound. And it's Rondo with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. Baca against Ingram. James right side. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. And James loves pulling up immediately off the pass. You can't give him any breathing room. Even when the pass is coming his way. So, timeout called here. The first for Toronto. And with the tide running against them, needs to talk it over with his guys. Man, they straight up been getting smoked over this stretch. They really need to refocus here. That's tipped and stolen by James. Inside. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Ibaka with the ball. Now guarded by Ingram. Three-pointer, Lowry. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Lowry's got himself on the board with three there. And you can see there the defender gets caught up on the pick. Team ball. Great execution on offense. Everyone working together. You wish you could have that on every play. Yeah, and Rondo just working the ball around there. He loves finding his teammates when they're open in the sweet spots. Well, LeBron making one of the biggest splashes over the summer, signing with the Lakers, and Greg, it happened pretty fast. And the Lakers front office have been recruiting LeBron hard. LeBron talked with Kobe about his time with the organization, what to expect before making his decision. Kobe's words seem to be a big factor for LeBron. Once again, the Mamba doing everything he can to help the Lakers. Rondo gets the bucket. And their offense already in a flow some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Lowry passes to Valanciunas. Knocked away. Here's James. And it's sent back by Leonard. And a sensational individual defender. Leonard will lock you down. Rejections are just part of the package he brings on the defensive end. Nice bucket. There's no question about his skills at the offense. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge. He's recording from the sidelines. Well, Luke Walton gave me a few minutes to catch up with him. This is a team that loves to run, and he really wants to see them do what they love. So transition ball should be the order of the day, Kevin. Back to you. Okay, David, much appreciated. Green kicks to low. Here's Valanciunas. A shot missing. And the Lakers take it the other way. Ingram attacking. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Oh, yeah, look now. You can see how Ingram has developed in his short time in the NBA. Got a little bit stronger attacking the basket. He's the former number two pick, and he's gained steam with confidence. And maybe one day he can be an elite scorer. He's starting to develop a little bit of a killer instinct when he has the ball. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Ingram. And with Ingram, he now wants the ball and wants to attack defenders each time down the floor. 
Yeah, Kevin, and that doesn't just mean he's doing it with scoring. He's become a great drive and kick playmaker as well. Now, for me, the next step for him is to emerge as a vocal leader, uh, something that the L.A. office is hoping he can become. And so he makes both from the line. Well, think about the high ceiling that this kid Brandon Ingram has. I mean, with his long arms, <laughs> I mean, he can reach the rats. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Well, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Toronto shooting their first free throws of the game. And he makes the first. That one misses. Lakers leading by six. Here's Caldwell Pope. Good, and the assist goes to James. LeBron's got three assists in the game. And Caldwell Pope just blows past the finish with his speed. Just a sensational finisher all around the bucket. Now, here's Leonard. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. And they've got to get their heads into this game. They're giving the ball away far too easily. Rondo passes to Ingram. The shot's good from McGee. McGee's got his second bucket. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Leonard attacking, and he elevates for the slam dunk. JaVale McGee did not like that. And he moves so well. When Leonard drives the lane, it's pretty much a guaranteed bucket. Terrific body control, and he plays with the ultimate force. Outside green. Down low, Ibaka. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Ibaka's got six. Rondo kicks to Caldwell Pope. There's the pass to James. Fades again, Los Angeles. That lead's only going to keep growing if he keeps shooting like he has so far. Raptors trail by eight. Outside Lowry. Back to Green. The shot's good on the assist by Lowry. Green's got himself on the board with three there. And that's what makes Lowry a great floor leader. Just unselfish in his attitude and great awareness of how to keep his teammates involved. Now here's Caldwell Pope. Here's Ingram. But they recover it. James kicks to McGee for three. Caldwell Pope. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. And Caldwell Pope can be a volume three-point shooter, meaning when he gets a lot of attempts from there, he can fill it up from downtown. Leonard, no luck. Lakers leading by eight. And it's James missing. Well, I'm sure he thought that was good when they left his fingertips. A matter of fact, I know he did. Back to Lowry. It's deflected. Here's Rondo. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. That's a great job to converge on him inside and convict that easy one. Green taking his time here. Ibaka outside. Five to shoot. Lowry against Ingram. And the Raptors miss again. And here's Caldwell Pope. He brings it up for the Lakers. Eight-point game. Well, Greg, you knew that the Laker front office and Magic were going to do everything they could to bring in big-name free agents, and they succeeded. They had the biggest name of them all in LeBron.
LeBron coming to L.A. completely shifts the mindset of this organization. Team was very busy the rest of the free agent period as well. Still made very aggressive plays as this is a team that is looking to win now. They get it back. And as he squares up for mid-range, the defender right in his face. Well, he did a great job of staying patient, letting the man make his move, then getting right up on the jump shot. There's Van Vliet back to Miles from the arc. Hangs home the trifecta. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Lakers leading by five. Ball, the pass to Kuzma. And Fred Van Vliet is going to pick up a foul. That's his first foul. Now, here's Ball. Passes it to Kuzma. Shoots over Miles. Kuzma can't get it to go. Raptors trail by five. Here's Hananobi. And the Raptors hit again from deep. Their third three-pointer in a row. The Lakers shooting an impressive 60% early. Here's Hart, defended by Miles. Pass to Stevenson. Now Kuzma. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Good at taking initiative inside. Once Kuzma is near the hoop, he's focused on scoring. Van Vliet kicks to Siaka. Here's Powell. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. Everyone seems to suffer small injuries, C-Webb, over the course of a season. Who does the best, you think, at battling through those minor bumps and bruises and injuries and, and still continues to play well? You know what, Kevin? I can't answer that question because whoever does it does not let us know also that they're hurt. They hide it. Yeah, good point. You're right. Because the main guys that get through it, yeah. they're not, they're not going to tell you. <laughs> Here's Powell after Los Angeles picked up three with their last shot. Over Hart. Second chance effort and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one is on Beasley. Yeah, good job to take it right at the deep. Raptors have shot two of three from the free throw line tonight. Yeah, and 79% from the line as a team a season ago. Pretty reliable in that regard. And so he hits both. But Luke Walton, he's definitely a coach players like to play for. I mean, it helps that he was a player not too long ago. Both stars and role players appreciate the candor and the opportunity he provides them. And a lot of scoring here early on. This is the type of game the fans love to see. And the type of game that many coaches hate. Very little defense being played on either end. Now, here's Miles. Oats one up, and it's good on the way in. Van Vliet's got his first bucket in this one. Ooh, look at the soft touch on the teardrop. Here's Hart, and again it's the Lakers from deep. Good job taking what the D gives him. He's not going to pass it up with that much space. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Van Vliet passes to Pop. Shot clock at six to the middle. Here's Siakam. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Oh, I like the bounce pass there. He's getting creative. Lakers shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. Yeah, last season, around 71% of the free throws made, and 
you know what? That has to be a point of emphasis this year. One shot. And Beasley, no good on that one. The scoring fast and furious as we end the first quarter. Lakers on top. They lead by five. LeBron James is the all-time leader in playoff field goals made, and he had this to say about his ability to nail clutch shots. I always feel like I got it. I always feel like I got it in the clutch, no matter what's going on throughout the course of a game, uh, even when you're struggling at times or you're not shooting the bar particularly well, I just feel like it's going in. And you know, Greg, that's the type of confidence you got to have. Uh, the words of a leader. James has proven time and time again that he's dangerous in late game situations. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And from what we've seen so far from the Lakers, guys, what are your thoughts? I mean, a solid first quarter, especially looking at that plus turnover ratio. Yeah, aggressive on D, efficient on offense. They bought out to an early lead. They've got Beasley. Kyle Kuzma is out there with Lance Stevenson. Then it's Ball, and it's Hart in at the shooting guard. That's the group for the Lakers to start the second quarter. From the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, of course, there's no shortage of storylines in Los Angeles. Now, last season, some people thought that Lakers coach Luke Walton had lost his players, and the front office seemed slow to come to his defense. Now, Walton was a high-profile hire from Golden State in 2016, and you wonder if the Lakers will remain committed to their young coach if they can't start winning more regularly. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. And here is Los Angeles now after Toronto got the three-pointer. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. And what a draft day steal for the Lakers, who were able to get Kyle Kuzma, who had been drafted 27th overall. Yeah, Kuzma came into the league far more polished than anyone expected. And you have to credit the young man's hard work and how he was able to make such a big splash that rookie year. And, and with how hard he works, Kuzma is going to be an impactful player in this league for a long time. Chris, when you played against a team that you had played on before, did you feel any extra motivation to do well against them? Always. They always got the business. Whether it was I left Golden State and went to Washington, had to give them a triple-double in 40 there. Whether it was after I left Washington, had to come back and give them a triple-double yeah. uh, and, and beat them bad and hug the crowd after. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of motivation. You definitely want to make sure you give your ex-team the business and make them regret at least for you know, the 24 hours until the next game that they let you go. I love that thought process. That's fun. And that one is good by Beasley. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. And Wright kicks to Miles. Pass to Dallin Tunis. Here's Powell. Covered by Beasley. The pass to Miles. Six on the shot clock. Back to Powell. The Raptors need to get a shot. Off. Second shot opportunity, and they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. The Raptors have only one missed free throw. They've had five attempts and made four of them. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Here is Stevenson. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. 
ball dishes to Beasley. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. So I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. And uh, he's just had one attempt at the line early. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And both free throws, good for Beasley. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Right, looking around. Here's Valanciunas from down in the low post. It goes. And he's pretty relentless inside. Valanciunas gets after it down low. It might not always look pretty, but he makes the most of his chances in the paint. And again, no good by the Lakers. Raptors trail by seven. To the paint, here's Wright, and Wright throws it down hard. And if that doesn't get them fired up, guys, nothing will. Greg, just what the doctor ordered, huh? Some high-flying annex to narrow the deficit. Give the loose D an assist on that one. Get a body on him. Hart the pass to Kuzma. Wright with the double team. And the ball's tied the up, ball's so we'll have a jump foot, ball. Foot. You two players. So it's the Lakers now. Beasley kicks the ball. Out to Kuzma. On the wing, Stevenson. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Up again. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Lakers lead by seven. Oh, what terrific hustle. He's got a nose for the rebound. Craig, he's ferocious when the ball goes up. Oh. Rebounded by Hart. Uh, look, that's what they want. The ball is in his hands in the post. Just didn't have the touch that time. No good from Beasley. The D doing everything they can to cut him off on his way to the hoop. Inside. Miles finds right. Stolen by Ball. Here's the break. Shoots from the baseline. Good on the jump shot. Ball's got five points now this quarter. Uh, step in the right direction. It's huge whenever Ball finds a way to capitalize from the mid-range. Back to Miles. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. And last season, a very strong rookie campaign break for OG Ananobi. You know, the team quickly learned that they could rely on him offensively. And it's rare to have a team trust someone taking 23rd overall that quickly. Surprised a lot of people with how efficient he was on offense right out of the gate. And I think you're going to see him continue to grow in that regard. Some changes here for the Lakers. JaVale McGee's check in for Beasley. Brandon Ingram comes in for Kyle Kuzma. And LeBron's subbed in for Lance Stevenson. Then for the Raptors, Serge Ibaka. He's checked in for C.J. Miles. Kawhi Leonard comes in for O.G. Ananobi. And it's Lowry in for Norman Powell. Now here's LeBron. He's got 12. Back to Ingram. And it's Hart, top of the key. 
And they pick up two. Hart's got five. Look at this. I like this team basketball. Keeping the ball moving till they find the right shot. Right outside. Knocked loose. The 15 footer. The putback. It's good on the putback. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Los Angeles leading by seven. Passes to Hart. He feeds it to LeBron. Lays it up and banks it in. 14 points for him. James, such a terrific interior score. Simple, under control, and on the money. Left side, Lowry. Shoots it. Again, Toronto. And that's Lowry's shot right there. Always looking to capitalize from that range. On the wing, James. He's covered by Leonard. Shoots over Leonard. Not enough on that one as it misses. And the fadeaway was the only option he had on that one. Defender there all over. Lowry kicks to right. Back to Lowry. And there's the call on James. That is his first foul of the game. Ajan Rondo's checked in for ball. Now here is Lowry. He's tightly guarded. Just four to shoot. Here's Leonard off the left rim and out. Oh, great effort there. That's how you defend the paint. Yeah, he has that capacity. He knows exactly where to position himself to protect the rim. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. LeBron signing a four-year deal with the Lakers. Greg, many speculated it might happen, but it was still a shock to many. It makes sense from LeBron's standpoint. Son plays in L.A. for high school. LeBron has a lot of business interests as well. And also what's interesting what's is up, that gentlemen? when LeBron's contract ends, his son could potentially be coming into the NBA as a rookie. Free throw good, LeBron. And it took them a while to find their touch at the line, but they have been red hot here in the second quarter. Lowry against Rondo. Outside Lowry. Takes a three. Offensive rebound. And staying with the play, Dallin Shunis. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. The drive by LeBron. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's on Kawhi Leonard. Gotta like the edge James plays with. Phenomenal at it taking it strong and picking up the foul. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. Looking back to last season, he was at about 73%. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Well, the goat watch continues. Every year, every accomplishment goes into the analysis. I mean, LeBron will probably never be able to escape it. The Raptors making a switch here. Siakam's checked in. And both free throws good for LeBron. Didn't have a free throw in the first quarter, but you can see he's starting to play with more energy now. He has a tougher attitude. Up top, Leonard. James covering. Leonard dishes to Lowry. Lowry drawing the double team. Leonard with no one around. And the three off target. Their stroke has not been what they needed to be, but looks like they're going to keep going to it. James outside. 
Shoots over Leonard. And again, the Lakers no good. And so Green will bring it up for the Raptors. Trailing by 10. Lowry passes to Siakam. A rebound by the Lakers. McGee's got four rebounds in this game. Caldwell Pope against Green. Back to Caldwell Pope. For three. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Here's Green. Leonard kicks to Green. Green's the three-pointer. Green's got to back down to within single digits for the Raptors. That was all about the assist. Great pass to set up the shot. Outside Rondo. Pass to Caldwell Pope. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the with the foul. And Caldwell Pope, the Georgia product, when he's on the floor, it's for his defense. Can give you a handful of points, but what he takes away with defense is far more significant. One of the better perimeter defenders since entering the league. Two shots. Free throw good from Caldwell Pope. And with Caldwell Pope in his defense, he can guard any type of perimeter player. Yeah, I mean, he has the long arms to bother small forwards and fast feet to stay with point guards. Really gives the lineup a lot of options in terms of matchups when he's on the floor. Great instincts on defense and is very hard to shake as he'll hound you through screen. And Caldwell Pope drops them both. Look, Caldwell Pope, Kevin, he's one of the better 3 and D wings in this league. He's very active with his hands. You know, defense, you know he's always going to get a handful of steals, but he's not the most efficient scorer. He's solid from deep. And here is Los Angeles now, after Toronto picking up the basket just moments ago. To the paint. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Caldwell Pope against Green. Outside Leonard. Leonard draws the double. Puts up a three. That one's in there. The Lakers' lead is cut down now to just four in the basket from Van Vliet. And with Caldwell Pope, as good as he is, he can be inconsistent. Oh, yeah. I mean, like any player, he's going to have his good nights and bad nights. It's just with KCP, the bad nights sometimes really stick out. It all averages out in the amateur, but sometimes you'll think he's a star. Another other nights you'll wonder, what is he doing out there? Here's Leonard after the basket by Los Angeles. That one falls. Leonard's got eight. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. To the inside, Leonard with the steal. Here's Van Vliet. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. And now just a two-point Laker lead. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, guys, Kyle Kuzma had a tough upbringing in Flint, Michigan. He said they had the recession, lead in the water. It was like an urban war zone. We probably moved 14 times before I was 16. Basketball was my key. His drive to succeed in the NBA was born of a desire to escape that environment. Kevin? A tremendous work ethic, David. Thank you. And so here's Toronto. After the basket by Los Angeles, Ibaka finds Leonard. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And Greg, one of the stories that had started developing since last season was the talk of Kawhi Leonard wanting out. Too many soured relationships, it seems. And he was eventually moved after requesting a trade. Pop and the Spurs tried just about everything they could to convince him to stay probably the most drama for a team known for not having any drama. First one falls for him. And with Kawhi in this past summer, his health was such an unknown quantity during trade talks. 
Now that we know that Kawhi is a full go, it, it looks like a great deal for Toronto. Casts a bit of a shadow and, and doubt over Kawhi's last year in San Antonio, but it is what it is at this point. Leonard hits them both. Well, he's not making any mistakes up there today. Another solid trip to the line for him. LeBron James on the wing. Tipped away. Siakam pulls it in. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Well, I like the decision making. Though. I mean, that's a shot you want to keep taking. Now, here's Green. He's got eight. Pass to Siakam. And stolen by LeBron. And the dunk by James. When you give James a lane to the basket, he's going to dunk it hard. Amazing watching him just glide through the air. Outside, Green. Inside, here's Leonard. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got his fourth assist in this one. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Now here's Rondo. Kuzma passes to Caldwell Pope. Stevenson outside. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. Stevenson's got four points now in the quarter. Yeah, liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope. Looking to get his guys going when they're open. Here's Van Vliet. He has seven. Just five on the clock. Leonard inside over Stevenson. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for Los Angeles. It's been an excellent game for him offensively. He's got 21 points and counting. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Kawhi, a big first half for you all offensively, but big first half for them too. Any concern there? Uh, they're still scoring pretty good, so we got to play better defense second half. Uh, because we don't know if we're going to keep making the shots that we're making right now. We'll see who can get some stops, Kawhi. Thank you. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away after the break. We'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. LeBron James putting in some incredible work. He had 21 points, four assists, and one rebound. Some great work from him in the first two quarters. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. Well, first and foremost, you got to take care of the basketball. And that means playing with poise, making good decisions, and not giving away any possession. They did a great job of that in the first half. Shaq, what was your takeaway on Toronto? Well, they had a strong perimeter game. See, Ernie, when this team executes from long range, those weapons spread out of defense. Coming out in the second half, if those shooters are hot, they got a great chance to take control of this game. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side, my brother. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. It's been a clinic out there by James. Yeah, and sometimes you find yourself in a role you're not comfortable with, but his passing in the first half really was impressive. Yeah, and some of it is based on how the defense is playing you. He didn't force things. Instead, he rewarded his teammates. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. So for Toronto right now, inside pairing is Ibaka and Valanciunas. Kyle Lowry and Danny Green are the guard tandem. And it's Leonard in at the three spot. For three, Coldwell Pope. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. LeBron's got five assists in the game. 
on the pass to Valanciunas. That one goes in. Valanciunas has got six. And defensively, th this is the opposite of how you want to start the second half. Yeah, I mean, you spend all that time in the locker room trying to get mentally prepared. Did you come out and give up that? No. Something affected him on that shot, and it wasn't the defense. On the wing, Green. There's the feed to Leonard. And he elevates for the slam dunk. JaVale McGee did not like that. Oh, he got fancy with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. And a great second look there. Another Unleash Chaos Report. Brought to you by the Under Armour Hubber Habit. Oh, the feed was perfect. The timing, the placement, everything was right on the money. Raptors trail by five. Lowry kicks to Ibaka. This is to Green. With the fadeaway. They get it back. McGee with the block. Rondo looking around. Passes it to LeBron. And the rejection by Leonard. Tries again. And LeBron gets it to go with the assist by McGee. And it's a seven-point Laker lead. Got a piece of it. Lowry against James. Back to Ibaka. And Ibaka slams it in. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. Now here's Rondo. He kicks it to Ingram. He lobs it up. And the slam dunk by McGee. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Green against Caldwell Pope. Pass to Ibaka. Outside Lowry. Over Rondo. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Los Angeles leading by seven. To the middle. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's Leonard. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. 16 points for Leonard. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for the Lakers. They've led by as much as 10. Caldwell Pope feeling it out of it. Kicks it out to James. Clock is at three. And another three for the Lakers. Way James dominates on the offensive end, making it look effortless tonight. Raptors trail by eight. Pass to Ibaka. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. The Raptors have been good at the free throw line. This one, 7 of 8. And some changes here for the Lakers. Josh Hart comes in for Caldwell Pope. And Ball subbed in for Rajon Rondo. Mind the lane. Then for the Raptors, the OG and Anobis checked in for Kawhi Leonard. And Norman Powell subbed in for Danny Green. And what's interesting about Ibaka, he's played basketball internationally ever since joining the NBA back in 08. In fact, he won a silver medal with Spain in 2012. And it's Ingram missing. Raptors trail by five. Here's on an open. To the right side. And Ibaka kicks to Powell. Now the pass to Lauer. From deep. From beyond the arc and then some. Lowry's got eight points. Once he crosses half court, you need to stay awake because he can drop it from deep. Oh, look at that awareness of ball. Fantastic at recognizing when his teammates are wide open. The Raptors have gone 6 of 9 from the floor here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. To the paint. That one's in there. The Lakers lead is cut down now to just two on the basket from Lowry. 
And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Hart kicks to James. Fader on the way again, Los Angeles. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. And here is Powell. Eight points for him. Habaka looking for an opening. Now here's Powell. He's covered by Ingram. The high post shot on an OB. Planks the putback jam. Los Angeles leading by four. Releases. Rebounded by Valanciunas. Valanciunas has got five rebounds tonight. And look, if he can start turning some of these misses into makes, their lead is going to take a big jump. Lowry kicks to Ibaka. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. He's got 15. And this is what Ibaka supporters point to. If given the chance, he has the physical ability and skill set to do major damage on the offensive end. Strong work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. Here is Ibaka following the basket by LeBron James. Back to Lowry. And Lowry gets double teamed. And it's Brandon Ingram with the foul. That's his first foul. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for the Lakers. And Stevenson comes in for Ingram. DeLon Wright, he's checked in for the Raptors. Toronto calls timeout. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Lakers leading by four. Inside. Kicks it out to Stevenson. And it's Norman Powell with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Kuzma. Sensational block. And he gets it back. The shot's good. Kuzma's got 14 points for the game. Raptors trail by six. Right outside. Kicks to Ibaka. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. And there were a lot of hidden gems, Chris, in that 2017 draft, and Kyle Kuzma is right at the top of the list. Well, Kuzma was taken with the 27th overall pick, but he looks like a top five pick, if you ask me. He probably was just for being a three-year player at Utah, but that time in college allowed him to hone his skill set. I mean, he came into the league with a wide variety of very polished moves. Now, here's Ball. Five points in the game. In the corner, it's Stevenson. Down to five on the shot clock. Rebound by the Raptors. Right outside. He dishes it to Miles. Here's Van Vliet, guarded by Kuzma. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Raptors have knocked down eight of nine free throw attempts. I'd say those numbers read pretty well. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. Both good from the line that time. And the Lakers with possession here. To the inside. And Kuzma slams it in. And it only 
takes a few buckets for Kuzma to get going. He's a crafty, dangerous scorer. Wright finds Miles. Van Vliet looking around. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Kyle Kuzma. That's his third foul of the game. Toronto working the ball around now. Ananobi passes to Miles. Lock at six. Very active player. It's fantastic watching ball. Work hard to disrupt this man's concentration. And now here comes Wright leading the break. Wants to get it to Miles and does. And he lays it straight in. Miles has got 10 points in the game. And so James will bring it up for Los Angeles. They lead by four. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. The D is no shot of stopping James when he gets that low in that position. He's too big, too strong in the paint. You got to foul him. He is three for three from the free throw line. And the first one at the line is good. And both free throws, good for James. Raptors trail by six. Van Vliet kicks to Miles. Kuzma pulls it in. Los Angeles has gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Here's Stevenson. Passes it to James. Ball with it for three. Good, and the assist goes to James. LeBron's got six assists in the game. This is the mindset Ball has. If you're not going to guard him closely, he'll torch you off the pad. Here's Van Vliet. Nine points in the game so far. Miles the pass to Van Vliet. Here's Siakam. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Siakam's got seven points. <laughs> if you let him get that deep, this is what you can expect. Yeah, well, with his toughness and skills in there, it's a rough problem to fix. Now, here's Kuzma. Got it. Good job in the low post. And the Lakers lead by nine. Awesome at keeping his balance. Sometimes guarding Kuzma is impossible for the defense. Here's Wright. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. The Lakers with the ball. 158 left in the third. And Stevenson kicks to Kuzma. To the middle. James with the bucket. James has got 34. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Pass to Miles. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Contavious Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Los Angeles. And Toronto also making a switch. Leonard's checked in. And Miles drops them both. Here's LeBron. He's got 34. 
122 left here in the third quarter. And that one, good. James has got 15 points in just the second half. And he's having a great night from the floor. They're going to keep leaning on him, looking to grow the lead. He just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. Fifty-five seconds left in the third. Here's Leonard. The shot, no good. And it's the Lakers the other way. They've led by as much as ten. He had a nice open look right there. Kuzma's got the lead up to ten now for the Lakers. Out left of the wing. Pass to Siakam. Here's Leonard. It's rebounded by Stevenson. Stevenson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Kuzma passes to James. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Shot clock at five. Pulls it up. No good and tight defense there. Bothered that shot. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers going into the break with a 10-point lead. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Let's listen now to head coach Luke Walton review the game plan with his team. Hey, that's beautiful basketball out there. That's fun, right? Even with the lead, we keep passing, we keep moving, we make the extra pass. That's fun. It's fun to watch. I know that much. Well, Greg, it looks like his guys are having a blast out there, too. Yeah, I mean, everything seems to be coming together at this point. They have the momentum thanks to how efficient they've been on offense. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. A moment now to reset the lineups. Brought to us by Gatorade. All fueled up here for the fourth quarter. Taking a look at the Lakers. Rondo and Caldwell Pope in the backcourt. LeBron James is out there with Kyle Kuzma. And it's Stevenson in its small forward. And, and nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And, Greg, he says thank you very much and <laughs> sails in for the flush. Well, that's just a good example of why the score is what it is. I mean, they need to protect the rim a lot better than that. And the Lakers making a change here. Ingram's checked in. Caldwell Pope against Green. Shot clock at five. He kicks it to Leonard. And there's the pass to Valanciunas. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. Here's Kuzma. And it's sent back by Leonard. And they'll keep possession. Down low, here's Valanciunas. And it's Valanciunas finishing it off. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. Inside, Kuzma. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Can't shake Kuzma. Even when you try to get physical with him, he maintains his focus. Some changes for Toronto. Baca comes in for C.J. Miles. And Kyle Lowry subbed in for Fred Van Vliet. One shot. One shot. Free throw good, Kuzma. And for being the 27th pick in the 2017 draft, uh, Kuzma has made his mark early, already surpassed expectations. Now, here's Lowry. Over to the wing. Fade away. Rebounded by the Lakers. Rondo's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Kuzma. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And some guys just have a nose for scoring. And this one couldn't have been any easier. 
I mean, I don't know whether to say it's amazing or it's sad, but you're down double digits and you still allow an uncontested layup. Where is the pride? Where is your heart? On the free throw, no good. And Joe Abaca will bring it up for Toronto. A 12-point game. Green kicks to Abaca. Here's Valanciunas. Kuzma pulls it in. Lakers have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. And he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. And it's eight points for Brandon Ingram. Raptors trail by 14. Outside Lowry. Can they get it? They get it again. Alan Junis. And he could not get that one to go. What a contact. And he'll go to the line for two. It goes on Brandon Ingram. And you know what? Very close to a three point play right there. At the line for two. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. First one falls for him. JaVale McGee's checked in for James. Alan Junis hits them both. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Rondo passes to Kuzma. Down low, and it's McGee with the jam. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. And the Raptors call time here. And really, whether you're up or down, it's a game of adjustments. Well, yeah, he might have seen something he wants to exploit. Well, we'll see what they run coming out of this. go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thanks Kevin. Well Toronto's head coach had some words for his team during the break. He was begging them to step it up. He said we've got to make the move now. Or we're going to be out of time and out of luck. Give it everything you've got out there. Kevin. Thanks David. Los Angeles leading by 14. To the paint. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. Rondo's got his seventh assist in the game. Lowry kicks to Valanciunas. At the elbow, it's Ibaka. Outside, Leonard. And that one drops for him. Leonard's got five points now in the quarter. And he's got the athleticism and strength to be a powerful presence inside. Leonard never afraid to get in and mix it up down low. Kuzma with it. It's Ibaka picking him up. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. That'll put Kyle Kuzma on the line. Kyle Lowry picks one up there. Free throw good, Kuzma. Raptors trail by 17. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. 
Here's Leonard, and he uses the glass on the layup. Leonard's got 23 points. And that's a perfect setup. Solid screen, defender can't avoid it. Opens up a clear path to the bucket. Rondo against Lowry. It's tipped. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That'll be his second foul of the game. And the next one puts him in the bonus. For three, Caldwell Pope. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Oh, and Caldwell Pope is not shy about letting it fly, about getting one up. Such a nice stroke. Now, Green. Feeds to Ibaka. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. Outside Rondo. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Lowry kicks to Green. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And Danny Green, a terrific shooter who also, Greg, happens to give you great production on defense. Yeah, and I have to say, Green's probably alone in history with his shooting and defense. Only player to ever have six or more seasons with at least 50 blocks and 73s. You know, it might be arbitrary checkpoints, but, but nevertheless, it illustrates just what Green brings to the table. Take a break. A consistent free and D player. That's good from Green. And one thing you can say about Green, I don't know of too many players who are as dependent on their three-point shot as he is. He needs that shot to be falling for him to make an impact. Both free throws good from Green. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for the Lakers. Kicks it to McGee. Pocket six. Lakers passing it around. Passes to Kuzma. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. McGee's shot is off. Raptors trail by 18. Lowry feeling it out a bit. Outside, Green. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And extending the D there, putting a lot of pressure on the shooter. Yeah, because you're spread out. It can be difficult to contest these shots, but not for him. And when you can outscore your opponent in transition, that's always going to work to your advantage. Yeah, but you have to control the pace. You have to keep it up, keep the tempo. That's how they built this lead. Here's Leonard after the basket by Los Angeles. Leonard draws the double and wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. So it's the Lakers now. Lakers leading by 20. Rondo kicks to McGee. Back to Rondo. Down low. And Kuzma slams it in. Oh, the mobility of Kuzma coming into play there. Outstanding is setting good screens and rolling fast. Lowry finds Valanciunas. Leonard on the wing. Pass to Lowry. Fires the three. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got his fifth assist in this one. Rondo with the ball. Pass to McGee. To the inside. Caldwell Pope. Green with the block. Now, here's Lowry. He kicks to Green. In the corner, Abaka with it. And the Raptors hit again from deep. Yeah, and that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Lakers leading by 16. 
The pass to Kuzma. Inside, and the slam dunk by McGee. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> now, here's Leonard. Kicks to Ibaka. And it's Brandon Ingram with the foul. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Ah, uh, fourth foul of the game for him. He's starting to get into that danger zone. And some changes here for the Lakers. LeBron, he's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. And Ball subbed in for Rajon Rondo. Green against Ball. Green in the post. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Shooting for Toronto. Daniel Green taking two shots. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And both free throws good for Green. Los Angeles leading by 16. Ball kicks to James. The dish to Ingram. Passes it to Ball. LeBron against Leonard. Five to shoot. On its way from Caldwell Pope for two. And the Lakers check on two more. And there's no real answer for Caldwell Pope in pick and roll sets. He can beat you with the shot outside or his quickness inside. Outside Leonard. Back to Lowry. With the floater, he takes it up and lays it in. Lowry's got 10 points here in the second half. He's one of the guys having a solid game for them, but as a whole, they've been lacking. To the middle. Ball against Lowry. Ball kicks to Caldwell Pope. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And that quick first step that Caldwell Pope possesses is lethal. Drawing the contact there thanks to his aggressiveness. Los Angeles, Pentavious Caldwell Pope. At the line for two. Shooting two, gentlemen. He misses the free throw. And Caldwell Pope is a guy you cannot leave open at any time. He, uh, just a very good shooter from any spot on the floor. And the second free throw, good. Raptors trail by 17. Green, the pass to Lowry. They get it again. It's good. With that basket, he's now five for nine. And he's been passive today, but maybe that's what he needs to get him going because for them to be successful, he's got to be a little more selfish. Now here's Caldwell Pope. LeBron outside, and too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Toronto's gotten three of their six three-pointers to fall here in the fourth. Timeout, Toronto timeout. calls timeout. Yeah, and the amount of points they've given up here in the paint, that, that's what they got to talk about. Ooh, this is ugly. No question about it. And you wonder if these matchups aren't favoring them right now. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, Kyle Kuzma. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do 
on that court tonight. He's played up to his full potential tonight, and he's been playing to the crowd, too. He loves being the star attraction, even if it doesn't happen on a regular basis. They kick it out to Green. Traps in the tray. Boy, this final period, they are putting up a ton of shots from deep. Stacks on stacks on stacks. They're looking to stack up some points. They've gotten into a nice groove from out there. Pass to James. Shoots over Leonard. And James gets it to go on the assist by Ball. Powerful, yet effective. James has always done a lot of damage from the mid range. Leonard finds Valanciunas, and it's in there. Valanciunas has got eight points here in this quarter. Oh, terrific pass work. That shot's a lot easier after an assist like that. Lowry against Ball. Leonard with the steal. And Lowry has it in the corner. Outside, Green. 133 left to play here in the fourth. Lock at six. He feeds it to Ibaka. And Ibaka slams it in. So agile. Ibaka able to quickly come up and, and set the screen. Then quickly rolls into position for the score. To the paint. It's tipped. Raptors trail by 12. And Ibaka slams it in. And not the most flamboyant dunker, but Ibaka goes to the rack with rude intentions nonetheless. Now here's Caldwell Pope. And it looks like just playing the last bit of this one out in what should be a nice win here for the Lakers. A beautiful pass doesn't always get you on the highlight reels, but there were some spectacular dishes in this game. But you know what? It was a team that was in sync and, and just trusted one another to take the right shots. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for LeBron. So the big thing was, if he had an open look, he drained it. He didn't let any of those easy chances get away from him. Ingram against Ibaka. James in the post. Makes it off the glass. James has got 40 points. I'll tell you what. The energy in this arena, you can feel it. Well, a well-earned victory. Feeding off the energy of this hometown crowd. Really all night. And the Raptors call time here. They trail by 10. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. And Ibaka kicks to Powell. In the corner, right with it. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. 22 is their biggest lead. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. And I think they built off that edge of being here and, and playing with just a little more confidence than their opponent. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, LeBron. The spotlight's on you all the time. 
How do you kind of put that to the side and deliver the kind of performance you did tonight? Uh, I just wanted to try to lead my team the best way I could. Uh, whatever I needed to do out on the floor, I tried to be there for them tonight. And, uh, you know, I'm glad we was able to, to get this win. Thanks very much, LeBron. Appreciate it. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.